Prince Harry's military career, from enlistment and retirement to Invictus Games and beyond, Prince Harry has remained dedicated to the military following his retirement from the British Royal Army in 2015. The Duke of Sussex is one of many members of the British Royal Family to serve their country throughout history. Harry was part of the armed forces for 10 years with his service beginning in 2005. One year later, the royal family member was set to go to Iraq and fight alongside his Blues and Royals comrades. However, the assignment was switched once news broke that the prince would be on the front lines, causing concern for his safety and that of his fellow brothers in arms. The youngest son of Charles and the late Princess Diana eventually went to battle in Afghanistan, making him the first royal since Prince Andrew to serve in a combat zone. Harry has spoken about his time in the military on many occasions, explaining how he felt like a regular guy when he was in uniform. Following his retirement, Harry founded the Invictus Games in 2014 as a multi-sport event for wounded, injured, and sick servicemen and women. 2005, Harry passed the Regular Commissions Board RCB qualification in September, allowing him to begin his 44 weeks of officer cadet training at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst. 2006 Clarence House announced in January that the Prince was joining the Blues and Royals. Three months later he was commissioned as an army officer. 2007 to 2008 Harry was deployed to Afghanistan working as a forward air controller. He spent 10 weeks there before the media learned of his location and reported his role in the mission in February 2008. 2008. The Royal was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant with the Household Cavalry in April following his first tour overseas. 2012. Harry returned to Afghanistan as a helicopter co-pilot and gunner until 2013. 2015 Harry's military career ended in June after 10 years of service. He was a captain when he retired. 2017. The Duke of Sussex was promoted to Captain General Royal Marines in December, a role that was previously held by his late grandfather. 2018 Harry received three more promotions, Major in the British Army, Lieutenant Commander in the Royal Navy, and squadron leader in the Royal Air Force in June. The honorary Navy and RAF ranks were later pulled after he stepped back as a senior royal in 2020. 2019, the royal put on a Santa suit to speak with bereaved military children in December. You are part of an amazing community and there is support for you every single day should you need it he said in a video for the Scotty's Little Soldiers charity. Having met some of a few years ago, I know how incredibly strong you are. Yes, losing a parent is incredibly hard, but I know that every single one of you, by helping each other out, will have an amazing future ahead of you, and you're going to be having a fantastic Christmas as well. 2021 one year after stepping back from his senior royal duties alongside wife Meghan Markle, it was announced in February that Harry would return his military appointments to the Queen. He returned the titles of Captain General Royal Marines, Honorary Air Commandant, RAF Huntington and Commodore-in-Chief, Small Ships and Diving, Royal Naval Command because he would no longer be a working royal. 2021. Harry and Meghan addressed news of the Taliban taking hold in Afghanistan in August, calling for former military members to reach out and support one another amid the crisis. What's happening in Afghanistan resonates across the international Invictus community. The statement issued alongside Invictus Games CEO Dominic Reed read, Many of the participating nations and competitors in the Invictus Games family are bound by a shared experience of serving in Afghanistan 
over the past two decades, and for several years, we have competed alongside Invictus Games Team Afghanistan. We encourage everybody across the Invictus Network and the wider military community to reach out to each other and offer support for one another. The couple also shared a message of hope via their Archwell Foundation website. The world is exceptionally fragile right now as we all feel the many layers of pain due to the situation in Afghanistan, we are left speechless as we all watch the growing humanitarian disaster in Haiti and the threat of it worsening after last weekend's earthquake, we are left heartbroken, they wrote. And as we all witness the continuing global health crisis, exacerbated by new variants and constant misinformation, we are left scared. The statement continued, when any person or community suffers, a piece of each of us does so with them, whether we realize it or not. And though we are not meant to live in a state of suffering, we as a people are being conditioned to accept it. It's easy to find ourselves feeling powerless, but we can put our values into action together. 2022, following a two year delay amid the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, the Invictus Games returned in April with a week long schedule of events in the Netherlands. Harry and his wife were spotted at the welcome reception at The Hague before attending the opening day ceremony. 2023, Harry attended the Invictus Games hosted in Dusseldorf, Germany, alongside his wife, Megan. He kicked off the week-long event in September of that year with a series of public outings and was present for the duration of the Games. 2024, it was announced in June that Harry would receive the Pat Tillman Award for Service at the 2024 SP Award. The honor is named for late NFL star and U.S. Army Ranger Tillman, who was killed in 2004 during combat. Harry received public backlash after the announcement, and ESPN released a statement defending their choice. ESPN, with the support of the Tillman Foundation, is honoring Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, specifically for the work of the Invictus Games Foundation as it celebrates its 10th year promoting healing through the power of sport for military service members and veterans around the world, the network told us weekly in July. While we understand not everyone will agree with all honorees selected for any award, the Invictus Games Foundation does incredible work and ESPN believes this is a cause worth celebrating. His name is Jake Wood. He's a U.S. Marine. Uh, he's also a former college football player and served uh, in Iraq, Afghanistan. Also did some work in Haiti. And that part of the story is what I think is interesting here because it parallels with it, Prince it really Harry's does. story. It aligns with what Harry does. Uh, joining us right now, the previous winner of the Pat Tillman Award for Service, Jake Wood, welcome. To yeah, well, listen, I first of all, I want to say that I, I can only speak for myself. I don't speak for the Tillman family. I, I certainly don't speak for any other veteran or past recipient. But you know, having received the award in 2018, I, I look at you know Prince Harry and I see someone who, who I see as deserving. You know, here's a, a man that served his country served alongside uh, me and my fellow Americans in Afghanistan. You know, he chose a dangerous job flying Apache helicopters. And, you know, let's put it out there. I mean, he's he's a he's a royal prince, right? There's a, a hundred different things that Prince Harry could have done with his life after his service uh, in the British Armed Forces, but he's chosen to dedicate a big portion of his post-military life to helping his fellow veterans, and not just veterans in the UK, but veterans around the world who served as part of our alliance uh, through his effort at the Invictus Games. And I know, you know, hundreds of military veterans from uh, the United States that have participated in the Invictus Games and who have come away, you know, feeling uh, more empowered, more, more fulfilled, a higher sense of purpose. And so from my perspective, again, I think this is someone who has used his celebrity to advance a cause that is near and dear to my heart. And what better way, what better person to honor than that? 
I, I have spoken with people that have interacted with Prince Harry in the past, and they all say the same thing. He's a he's a humble person who you know doesn't come off as as anything other than. Uh, you know, another fellow veteran, you know, he wants to sit there and he wants to swap the war stories. He wants to make sure that, you know, that people are taking care of one another. Um, there was never any sort of air uh, of superiority or anything about him, as was reported to me for people that interacted. I, listen, I think people can have opinions about uh, about Harry, about his relationship with Meghan Markle. They can have opinions about his book, the documentary. They can have opinions about any of those things. Um, and maybe some people find them controversial. I hope what is not controversial is the service that he has given to his country and to our alliance. And I hope what's not controversial is the work that he's done to support military veterans in his time since. Uh, those things are, in my opinion, above reproach. And I think it's it's perfectly OK. In fact, I think it should be celebrated that uh, it's, you know, a light's being shown upon that. Yeah, well, I certainly didn't win the ASB award for my, my poor college football career. So I, I, I think it probably has more to do uh, with, with the work that I did running uh, an amazing organization called Team Rubicon uh, that recruits, trains, and deploys uh, military veterans and first responders for, for disaster response and humanitarian relief uh, operations around this country and around the world. Um, you know, we really found this opportunity to empower military veterans through continued service, using those skills and experiences that they that they gained to help people on their worst day following disasters and crises. Um, you know, there have been, I, I'm one of many, many uh, Pat Tillman awardees over the years who have, you know, taken their time in uniform and, and moved forward into their life after service, continuing to serve uh, their country in, in new ways. And so I'm, I'm really proud to be a part of that lineage.